Hello everybody and welcome to Stray Souls Stolen Memories. We are your hosts, the best ever hidden object game players on this planet. My name is Michael. I'm Amanda. And oh, you are in for a treat. We have found another Stray Souls game, which is continuing to deliver the promise of the previous one we played by already giving us two dumb mannequins guarding a intricate lock in front of a door on what could be an orphanage. Who can even tell? Yeah, but this orphanage has added plane. Most orphanages don't have planes in the second story? No, that's a new feature, I Where think. do the kids get to play, then? That's a good question. Orphans don't get to play. Oh, right. They train to be ninjas and grow up to be <laughs> Batman. I forgot. All right, let's kick this puppy off. I'm, All right. Let's get some souls back from wherever they are. <laughs> Here, souls. Here, little souls. Less worried about the stray Joy, souls and more about the today memories that we got stolen. Today, we celebrate your birthday for the first time since your father disappeared. All right. Mommy, will Daddy ever come back? I don't know, baby. You can always wish for it to happen. We could okay, always build a game around I it. Would you like to that? See my Daddy. What's going on? It's a load-bearing cake. <laughs> Ryan? <laughs> your husband I, I looks want, like Stan. Julie, the danger will come forward. I know this place. What have you been doing I've at been the hotel? There in my dreams. We must go there and find Daddy. Have you ever heard a child say must? Mm-hmm. Yeah, in Alice in Wonderland. Uh <laughs> they look like they've been having to fight. They're just not speaking to each other. Pay a little more attention to the you road. You must have imagined that. Mommy, there it is! The motel where Daddy is! I just love it. it wasn't even out of her sight and she was already deciding, I'm currently imagining this. <laughs> no way am I almost running over a thunder cherub. <laughs> so, a mysterious transmission to RTV uh -huh. is leading us to a place that our daughter had a dream about. Our skeevy daughter with her dreams of motels. <laughs> I had a dream, Mommy! I saw this motel in my dreams. <laughs> See? I'm so scared. I'm so scared we won't have free HBO! <laughs> or that someone will have emptied out the mini bar. Don't be afraid, honey. Stay in the car and I'll try to find Dad. You know, like your dream said. Whatever okay. I'll listen to the radio. Whatever you do, don't hand over my credit card to the person at the front desk. <laughs> <laughs> like, I like how she says I'll listen to the radio like I'm going to leave her the keys. Right. You hum yourself something. You can afford that. <laughs> Click here to zoom the in the tutorial. We know what we're doing. We're the world's Thank best. You. Hell yeah, ring the bell. Oh, a <laughs> book works here. <laughs> Wait, there's just... <laughs> the guest book has a cutout that they put keys in? Brian was here. He stayed in room six. Or does every room get its own cutout book? Every oh, you're room. an eight? Let me get your cutout book. <laughs> he arrived in May of 2012. Uh huh. The guest arrived after midnight in a red jeep. He had in his position a large possession, a large metal case, a briefcase, and a video camera. He asked not to be disturbed, but as soon as I saw the video camera, I was not going to disturb him. Signed, Scary McClownface, <laughs> night clerk at the motel. What? Whoa. Hey, I, want, I might have wanted to look at that again. That was straight up a doll. You see that doll hanging? <laughs> They're all going to be dolls, I'm pretty sure. I'm still bitter that the sister in the last game wasn't a doll. All the signs were there. The key to the room in which Brian stayed was in the registration book, but then someone or something pulled the book away. I need the key! Oh, well, this is an easy puzzle. Ring that bell again. <laughs> First, we'll steal a paper clip. Mm -hmm. No, some... Someone heard it. Don't lie to us, narration. <laughs> we saw it. No, I rang the bell already and no one heard it. That's why they gave me a book and then took it away. Uh-huh. There's kerosene in the lamp. If I had a match, I could light it. Yeah. I got scared. I heard strange voices and the doors locked from the inside when I stepped out of the car. What? I'm a worthless kid. Maybe it was just the wind. <laughs> I'll try to open one of the doors and see what's going on. Oh, the wind knocks, locks the doors of your car. <laughs> leave the moon roof open the car is locked and the keys are inside it 
She did leave the keys with the kids so they could oh, listen to her. Yeah. Good thing these doors are easy to unlock. All I need is something fit. Yeah, good thing that it's super easy to steal my car. I'm always thankful for that. Not even the thick part of the paper clip. Just <laughs> one skinny little rod. Well, turn on the radio again. <laughs> Get back in there, kid. Ah. Oh. Drag and drop objects. Find the matches. This is a puzzle as to whether or not you can move things that are on top of other things. It's testing your mouse skills. Champions. <laughs> they just want to make sure you have basic motor control before they start asking you to do anything difficult. Mm -hmm. I like this little doll here. Traveler's checks, receipts, nothing... Traveler's checks are important. Please give me those. I bet I can Nobody solve a lot of problems. Nobody uses those anymore. With, uh, There's ATMs everywhere you go. Okay, whatever. Uh, so I need to light this thing. Yeah. Uh huh. Spin it around. Whoa! I mistook that mannequin for a person. Maybe because it pushed a book to you and then took the book back. <laughs> I think that's reasonable. <laughs> well, thanks, mannequin lady. Uh huh. Um, I'll just go ahead and steal some other stuff from here, if you don't mind. It's just so rude of us to interrupt her with her nightly stabbing of her own chair. <laughs> Obviously was keeping her busy all shift. What that, is that thing? That switch opens the gate to the motel, but I can't reach it. Yeah, all but right. have you tried reaching it? <laughs> Ask the mannequin to do it. Uh, Quit pretending the mannequin's not a person. It's filled with cobwebs as though no one has been here for ages. Yeah, okay. Right. okay. I guess we'll come back. No point in kicking <laughs> down the door. It's probably locked from the inside. What? I mean, the, it'd still be fun to kick down the door. <laughs> I'm still on team kick down the door. Wait, go back. Sorry, what? Mailbox is empty. Fuse box is hot, so I should leave it alone. Okay. Huh. Yeah, I just saw something about the fuse box. Drop it like it's hot can't read any ads. We're doing real good at solving this mystery. There's no handle on the shutters. I need to pry them open somehow. I'm gonna guess that I can use this all. Oh. <laughs> and we should hang ourselves while we're here. <laughs> I saw someone inside the laundromat. There's a laundromat at the motel, I guess? Yeah, sure. There's usually a laundry room. Hmm. Are they trying to scare me off? This might have nothing to do with you, lady. Check yeah, your maybe ego it's just an door. average motel noose. <laughs> they keep them by the ice machine. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, he says, I doubt I'll see anything of interest through that window. I already saw a broken off pair of handcuffs <laughs> dangling there that I wanted a closer look at. But she does not think that's of any interest. You're already here looking for your missing husband. Look through every window. Why did you even come here if you weren't going to look through? All right, so we have a noose. That's going to be enough to lasso our way into the switch to open the gate. Oh, good, good call, good call. Yep. Yeehaw. Wow. <laughs> Cowgirl us. Uh, daughter, will you fucking get back in the car? You're making me we weirded out with your creepy little face. Mommy, Daddy is somewhere nearby. I can feel him. Let's find him. I'm... Look, we've trusted your fucking psychic intuition so far, but I'm not going to follow it any further. This is, If this is, does not pan out, you're grounded. <laughs> so you're convinced that the kid is wrong and the husband isn't here, so now we're just in our free time stealing stuff from a broken down <laughs> motel. Look, our husband's definitely not here, but let's get while the getting's good. Hey, you want a free teddy bear? Look, we know the husband's not here because then the game would be ten minutes long. <laughs> That's fine by me. <laughs> I can't jump that far. I need to make a bridge. Oh, make a bridge out of that broken stick. <laughs> How good is your sense of balance, lady? Yeah, I went well. Uh, what a, <laughs> like, what, is what a coward. We just used a tiny plank in the last game, but mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Uh, I can look over here. Oh, oh a isn't ladder? that convenient? Thanks. Oh, that's how you get across. It looks like my husband was the last person to stay at this motel. All the rooms are empty. Lady, you cannot tell what order people checked out in just because you knew he was in room six. Room six. 
My husband use... stayed in this room. We can use the key, but first I want to look at this. Okay. That button is sewn on tight. I won't be able to break the thread with my fingers. Why about would it occur to you that you need that button? How about this needle? I'll take that. Sure. <laughs> if this t Wait, if this teddy I... bear could speak, it could tell me what happened to Brian? I thought you were going to breeze right past that. So many suppositions. Oh, look, there's some ads here that we can read. Nice. This uh, town used to be a great place to live. It <laughs> used to be the Soviet Union. <laughs> the proletariat. What? Whoa. What? <laughs> I don't know what they're advertising, but I'm buying. That's the best thing I've ever seen. Hell yes. <laughs> what did you just grab out of there? A ruler? A ruler. A ruler was just stuck into the advertising board? Okay. Old ads. I don't have time to read them. I've got time. I can... We only have time for the ones that are like pop-up books. <laughs> that don't have any words on them. Actually, do we know how to read? I'm going to keep looking for clues. <laughs> the damn bear's ruining those ads. Look, if people really care about those ads, they take better care of them. Here we go. Room number six. And our husband is... Another cutscene. Anybody here? Any husbands here? Oh. There's Brian's video camera. Perhaps some video is still on it. Sexy. Wait, what is with her mouth moving? Sinking is way off. So far off. What do you see, psychic kid? It's close encounters of the third kind. Honey, what are you? Ugh. Well, I mean, she's with your husband, so no problem. Mission accomplished. By the way, I want a divorce, and here's a magic door. <laughs> <gasps> it's our buddy! I lived! <laughs> Julie, someone kidnapped my daughter. Was it my husband? Come, look, I saw your husband once, and I know that was your husband. How are you missing this? Hi, Rose. I knew you'd come here sooner that or later. That ain't the right voice. Your family has disappeared. <laughs> I'll help you find them. What? They gave the doll a voice this time? You've robbed us of half our fun, game. Mm -hmm. To see the clues that will lead us to them, I need both of my eyes. Please find my second eye. And hurry, Rose. See if you can find my original voice, too. <laughs> I think I left it inside some kind of fire demon that punched half my head off. <laughs> but I lived! <laughs> this appears to be a birthday card from Brian to Julie. He must have been planning to give her this dollhouse as a present. Oh boy, are we going to be carrying this on our back again? Yes, carry the dollhouse. Dear Julie, I'm sorry I can't be with you on your birthday. I hope this dollhouse reminds you of me. I love you, love dad. Uh, oh, this actually opens. Oh, it's more like a doll advent calendar now. I guess this is a preview of another doll assortment that we're going to be hunting for. And that we're going to collect all these other shapes? Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's how we got the that. backstory in the last game. And then what's in this Hellraiser box? <laughs> the case is locked. A star is missing. Probably like an actual star at the heart of another <laughs> dimension of pain. There's a dream catcher up there. Brian put a dream catcher above Julie's bed at home. She has a lot of nightmares, so it's not working. Well, he took it away. Was that the problem? <laughs> if it was catching the nightmares, it shouldn't be in the motel. <laughs> Let's watch this dude's sex tape. <laughs> There's no video on the camera. Someone must have erased it. Or hmm. he never shot any video. Come on. No. Nope. Occam's razor. Easy to figure out. It's... <laughs> It's as if invisible ghosts are all around me. It's not. Oh, and they love TVs. <laughs> They're sweaty little hands. <laughs> Please, lady. We've been dead for hundreds of years and we're so bored. Turn on the TV. <laughs> the price is right is on. It looks like this old VCR still works. When I died, we just ate corn on the cob and that was all we knew how to make. Okay. Surprises so. are so lustrous. That case belonged to my husband. It's locked. Uh, can I jimmy it open with the- Oh! 
No? What? No, you're crazy. What's up with the drawing of the door handle? I could finish the drawing of the door if I had colored pencils. But why would you need to... Oh, right, because we saw it burn off. The door is technically made of paper, so right. if you're going to replace the handle, you got, it's got to be the right color. The fragment with the door handle is missing. That's the most important part! She has just gone all in on the magical realism immediately. Yeah, she's completely lost her mind. It's funny how a little thing like watching your daughter walk off with your missing husband through a magic door into a wonderland <laughs> will cause you to lose your grip with reality. She didn't oh. even recognize that that was her husband, so I don't think she saw any of that. She needs to clean up contact. Removing the grill would be easy if I had a long and flat object. Well, huh. Okay, then. The huh. videotape is out of reach. Use a stick. <laughs> the best technology. It would have been more fun to lasso it if we could got that <laughs> noose back. Nope. All right, ghosts, you're in for a treat. This is called a videotape. Hi, Rose. If you're watching this video, then the worst has happened. We started playing you Stray Souls have come again. Here. It's too late. <laughs> Listen, darling. Something happened when I was a child. Uh -huh. On the table, you'll find a case containing a wooden doll. Uh -huh. It's a clue to unlocking the secret of my past. Secret of your bad sinking. It's an old game. I think it's beyond that. I think that this was probably in another language and not naturalized into English very well. Hmm. Is that a child in the picture? Maybe Julie? No, I must be seeing things. Definitely seeing things. Oh boy. Uh, this this one's a star. So what does the key go to? The case over here. All right, here we go. This is where he keeps his colored pencils. So no one can steal them? Where he keeps his doll with the secret to his past. He couldn't just not interested. tell us the secret of his past. We're going to need that razor blade to get the doll's other eye. Yeah. We were a happy family. Julie and Brian, I'm going to find you. Those are definitely the faces of some people who are very happy. Oh. Step for people. Alright, here's your other eye. And if you see that bear, you tell him to get my eyeball off of his chest. It ain't funny. <laughs> All right. Well, here you go, little guy, and please don't talk again. You need the needle. Oh, and some thread? Does this count as having thread? Guess so. I guess. I don't know where that thread came from, but I'm glad it's there. Thank you. I see Julie traveling by train to the city. Oh, she will be in danger once she arrives. Rose, before we go, <laughs> take this star and then open the box Brian left on his bed. He could have given me that earlier. Not until he had another eye. Because he couldn't judge the distance. You know, depth <laughs> perception with one eye, and he could have put our eye out with the star, and then we'd, we'd both be in trouble. All right, look, you do get to read for him a little. Brian left a box containing a secret in this room. Now, you can open it and learn the magic truth about your husband's past, or you can just get back in your car and go home. <laughs> uh, from this moment on, like it or not, I'll be with you, switching back and forth between two equally unlikely voices. <laughs> Come on, Dimension of Pain. <laughs> oh. Click on the discs to rotate them. Get the ball out of there. All right. Mm. So we want the ball to go out the bottom. Gravity is our friend. What? This is a puzzle? Guess? Isn't it just a matter of patience? It's not like it's going to... Ooh. It's not like it's going to go up. Huh. Why you have to it line not... it up exactly, I guess. Oh. So that's harder. That's bizarre. That's not how gravity works. It's not going to go up. I'm, I'm kind of having trouble figuring out even why it's moving the way it's moving. There we go. It depends on which ring I click on it. I see. Out. Come on! That's, yeah, this is not how gravity works, ball. You don't get to stick. Maybe it's not a ball. Maybe it's a clown's nose. 
Oh, the treacherous clown from the last game. Mm -hmm. It's all starting to make sense. The old half a husband. <laughs> what the hell? This is terrible. Yeah, I don't like this at all. Hey, lady, skip. there's a skip button right at my foot. All right, here we go. Oh, this one's much easier to carry around. Is it? Nowhere near as bulky as the one from the last game. Ah, yeah, you're right. It is a little thinner and nicer, isn't it? Okay, well. I don't know about nicer. This thing has cardboard all over it. <laughs> okay. Right, so let's drop the doll in, get our flashback, find out about our husband's mysterious past. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to find out about your husband's past, you thera if you therapy or dollhouse. Mm -hmm. Dollhouse is the way to go. All right, so when he was really little... He built a little airplane. Uh huh. He went out past the Hawaiian scarecrow. This is your husband! He's 12 years old, playing alone at school. That's weird, okay. Anyway, here's some color pencils. <laughs> Story time is over, get out. <laughs> what? <laughs> if you know his whole childhood, you could save us a lot of time, but I guess we're just going to color in that door. Yeah, that was true in the last game, too, though. It was like he, he would... He'd tell us things right when they were no longer useful. Yeah. And that's why we left him to face his fate alone. <laughs> yeah, that's why we rolled up the car window. Mm -hmm. We did a very bad job coloring, I'm just going to say say it. Perfect. All right. Let's go. Cutscene ahoy. <laughs> Put some blast from that bad. Oh. What opened? Oh, there it is. Wow, the sinking is so far off. Do you think it's because that door was dubbed in another language? Is that <laughs> still your theory? <laughs> It's that chair we almost ran over and certainly hallucinated. Is he wearing a gas well, mask? Uh, hi! We rarely have guests. Well, do you but know? When we do, they never leave. Hey, real quick, are you a 12 year old ghost version of my husband? <laughs> Are we working out some of his traumas and dragging me along for no good reason? We've entered another world. <laughs> you can tell, because it don't look like your world. Your daughter's here. Uh, you see them rooftops over yonder? That's where she is. Let's go. We've got to find her as soon as possible. We've got to create a false sense of urgency. Don't be lollygagging, looking for hidden objects in tableaus. That'll just slow you down. And don't be solving any puzzles either. This is an emergency. To get a ticket from this machine, I need to know the number of my train. Well, there's only 999 trains, so let's brute force it. Oh, uh, poor sap. Okay. I'm just, I'm just gonna take some stuff. Steal the cards off his hat. <laughs> The wooden man can't climb out because he has only one hand. And also because he's made of wood! What's wrong with you? This hat is full of glowing moths? Cool. I bet we need that hat. Yeah, probably. We always need something. Um, hey, there's where the tile goes that you just picked up. Okay. Boom. This travel bag belonged to the wooden man. To open the lock and rifle through his goods while he clings for his life, Push the buttons in the correct order. What? Uh, the... Were we told what the correct order is? I don't think so. Left to right, then. No, it's like... Oh, this, then this, then this, then this. See? Wait, how did you know that? Because we saw our husband's ghost wearing wings. And, but we didn't see him jump off a water tower. I know, but he's got a trauma in his past, and what could it oh, be? But falling off a water tower? But jumping off a water tower like a complete idiot at 12 years old, which is really too old That's for that That's too old for that sort of thing. You should understand gravity by then. Okay, game, so we figured it out. You can skip us <laughs> right to the end. We know what the trauma is because we're the best in the world. I found a map of the city. I'll take it with me so I won't get lost. All right. That's nice. We didn't have a map in the last game. 
Uh, uh, there's, a, there's our new friend's hand. All right. Well, so let's go help him up so we can steal his hat. Let's go ransom it for the hat. Take a train trip to the city. When the conductor sees the lantern, he'll head this way. So we need to light, light it. the lantern. Too bad we threw out those matches from earlier. Well, that's what oh, we could use the glowing the mods. mods are for. Okay, uh, not creepy at all. Yeah, great. Dude, we, we were going to use those mods. Yeah, we were... Who the hell told you to just let him go? Do you have to actually catch him? Like, click no, him? No, I just got to kind of wave it near him. Oh, in the, in the approximate area? Yeah. There we go. Well, Mannequin Man, we have your friends. What's it <laughs> worth to you? <laughs> Alright, let's so dump him in there. I need to raise the lantern. If I don't, the train will never arrive. You are moving the goalposts, lady. So we need a counterweight. Place a weight on it, the lantern will arrive. What if we hang this mannequin on it? Nope. Oh. Broken counterweight? Uh, why is it broken? Well, if it wasn't broken, it'd be hanging there. Counterweight is missing its ring. I need to find another way to hang it on the hook. Uh, How about that hook that's over there on the right? It's just... How about this? Oh, uh, put it uh, in the lunch pail. Put it in the box. Sorry about your box. You, you can never have your bag back. Nope. Just fine because it's only where you kept your hand? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I don't think too hard. It's coming right at us! Uh. I think it did park on his foot. <laughs> uh, do you s the train to the city has arrived. Do you see its number? It's three digits in a row. Can you read? 147. <laughs> now we can get a ticket at the ticket machine. All right. What a diabolical puzzle. They Thanks. really do not trust you. Thanks, doll, for walking us through that. Wow. And then she even says to herself, it's 147, in case you forgot from the time you started <laughs> typing it in. Which, to be fair, I totally would have done. Alright. Uh, Wait. what? A lever opens the ticket puncher, but it's missing. Maybe something else will work? Like an all we've been carrying for no good reason. Alright, better not open it Oh, first. okay. We just have to be familiar with how these things actually work. Oh, Line up what? the stamps with the trains. Oh, because uh. you, what, you don't want to, you don't want to stamp where there's a stamp? What does it want us to do? It wants oh. us to match these to here. But it says you can swap ones that are of the same length. Yeah. So onesies will only swap with onesies. Right. Um, Which means that one at the bottom is going to swap with the one on the top. Yeah. Okay, so this one needs to be what now? Uh. Where does this one need to be? Let's see, it's on the far right. Yeah, it needs to swap with that one that you got highlighted. Because we're building a tower of three uh, kind of down the middle. Which is why the singlet at the bottom needs to be the singlet at the top. And then we need one in between them. So that's, um, there you go. Alright, next row totally full. Next row's got one on the third row. So that one needs to have two, so... Boom. Uh-huh. I think we're done. And the next one's got one. The next one's got three. Yeah, looks good. Punch it, Margaret. That wasn't too painful. Nah. I see neither passengers nor driver. Great. We'll drive it. I don't give a damn. I can learn how to do anything, including punch my own ticket. <laughs> pretty. Mm, yeah. It's the kind of town that I'd put a daughter in. <laughs> yeah, I never have any argument with how these games look. They're nice. Yep. Hi, are you Julie's mom? Look for her near the school. To get there, turn left at the alley behind the puppet theater. Although the gate to the school is locked, I have the key. Why do you have earthworms hanging off your wings there? <laughs> Those are probably Please leather straps. Please give me straps. the key. I need to find my daughter. 
she looks she's just got a worry or worrying face. She looks like she's always worried. She should of course, be. Her daughter's missing. But do me a favor first. Bring me a piece of cake from the cafe. After all, today's my birthday. I mean, happy birthday, but I'm trying to find a missing child. It's just your uh, traditional birthday blackmail. You know how on your birthday you can blackmail one person <laughs> consequence free. Uh, I know she should be worried about her daughter. I'm just saying she's got a face that looks like it's made for worrying. Clearly a bell should be placed Clearly. Here. I'm glad something's clear to you, lady. Oh, oh maybe they keep the bell on the roof. <laughs> the ladder looks sturdy. I could easily climb onto the roof. Although there would be no point, as I have nothing to do up lady, there. Lady, that's literally never stopped you from doing anything ever. Oh, there's something in there. The bell is in the vent, but the fan blades will slice off my fingers if I grab it. I need to stop the blades. Sure. Okay. That seems doable. Hey, kid! <laughs> <laughs> you got young fingers that grow back. <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. No, nah, kids are like salamanders, right? What? What can I use? Seriously. Um, what about over on the on the sign? There's like a oh, shovel stick. Stuff here that I can take. Oh. Incredible. Incredible. This postcard depicts Julie and me. Guillotine. Oh. Pros go home, you'll never see your daughter again. Is this supposed to be also from my husband? It's the same writing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he took the time to make uh, a very intricate card to depict how he took your daughter away from you. Clearly someone is trying to scare me, but I won't go home without my husband and daughter. Sure. Okay. Okay. Um, Why don't we just grab the key out of that kid's hand? He doesn't look very strong. <laughs> Brian and I enjoy sitting outside a cafe and drinking coffee. Who cares? Thanks. Nobody asked you. Alright, so reiterating yeah. is not going to be even got a bib with cake on it in case you forget. Mm -hmm. uh. He's a living visual aid. Oh my gosh. Okay, so what was in over In the here? sign I was noticing there's this shovel that's just been completely thrust into it. Oh, and a... Who's that a picture of? I have no idea. Man's, Man's photo. photo. Okay. So we stick the shovel in there. No? Alright, how about a knife? Too uh, short? What? What if we stab the knife through the shovel? <laughs> Alright, so we refuse to look there. on the roof for anything that we could jam in there. Um, do we need to just walk on? Can we? I guess we can. Yeah, see okay. you later, kid. What the hell? Oh, you know, it's one of those frozen violins. The violin is encased in ice. To break the ice, I need an ice pick. Man, if we had an ice pick, we'd be able to stop a fan. We had an awl that we left behind that we could have used as an ice pick. Oh, well, that's a picture of our daughter again. I need the horse. Do we? But the rope is tied tightly to the girl. I should cut it. You know what we could do is we could stick that horse into the fan. Because <laughs> that's a long stick. Okay, I mean... And let's also steal that bucket. Okay. Did someone put on a show about my family? <laughs> That's a rational thing to wonder. This mailbox might contain documents worth seeing. Uh, but it needs a handle, I bet. I need to find the handle. I won't be able to open this mailbox without it. You shouldn't be able to open that mailbox with it. That's a federal crime. Also... There's, there's no law here. Uh, she won't go up on the roof, but she will break into a mailbox. Yeah, well. I mean, that's fun and not dangerous. <laughs> oh, another pop-up book. Cool. It's a stage performance. Too bad I can't see the actors. I mean, we'll fix that. The Grand Puppet Show is about to begin. Honestly, I love this pop-up book stuff. This is awesome. <laughs> okay, so it's still Guess Who. Can't tell who the actors are. Okay. So maybe we'll find them later. Is it this dude? <laughs> It was worth a Trying shot. To glue a man's face onto one of them. <laughs> I know one of the people in the audience is this guy whose picture I yanked off a, t a board. Okay. This and then. All right, mannequins. We'll we'll come back later. Get insert a ticket into the hat once I have one, of course. All right. So. You see the uh, the dog in the window. That's great. There's shadow puppets in all the windows. That's oh, nice. Yeah. And an awning that's fallen over. Uh, hat. What am I looking at? 
Oh, I'm looking at the window box. I see. Oh, luckily enough, if you just had a shovel, oh. get right in there. So that's why it was stuck in a cafe sign <laughs> on the street. <sighs> oh, joy. And it's one of those with a needlessly elaborate lock that requires a Open figurine. the chest. I need a bird figurine. Or I could just or ram this knife. knife into it and Use cry. the knife. Ah, oh, she won't. Okay, so... Oh, there's What's a bird. up, bird? The mold is inside the nest, but the bird won't give it to me for nothing. Perhaps I can lure him away with something glittery. How like about a knife. fucking knife? Yeah, listen to <laughs> us, bird. <laughs> you a knife. Why do I want a mold anyway? I don't even know what that's is the, for. Is the mold in the shape of the figurine? Maybe we have to recreate not. the figurine from scratch. The school lies beyond this gate. I believe I'll find Julie there. The boy outside yeah, yeah, the cafe yeah, yeah. will give me the key. Okay, that's that thing. Okay. Uh, uh huh. Yep. I mean, I bet a knife would probably. What's also... in the um, phone booth? Like rubber duckies? The oh. booth is full of broken dolls, as if they all rushed in <laughs> to make a phone call at the same time. There is something wrong with this narrator. <laughs> Lady, it is far more often, far more likely that all of those broken dolls were in a 1920s Yale-style fraternity, <laughs> and they were trying to break a record for how many people you could fit into a phone booth. Yeah. All it takes is the slightest familiarity <laughs> with japery and pranks from early 20th century Ivy League institutions to recognize what those dolls were doing in there. Okay, that's a gate. All right. Beyond the gate lies the school. So beneath the sidewalk, the beach. Are we are we seriously going to use the horse? The horse? Hell for yeah! This? Jam it in there. Holy crap! We are. It's long. Boom! Now we can get some service around here. <laughs> now that the people working in the cafe can't breathe. <laughs> Hell yeah! Service! 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 <laughs> oh, we broke it. I love these one-time only use locks. <laughs> You find in these I like games. a cafe that doesn't want anyone to come in and buy anything from them. There was an evil dog. Oh no! I was totally going to keep that knife too. Well, I forgive you, clown. <laughs> Thank God I dodged the knife. Someone is trying to stop me permanently. I mean, you know, so, someone, someone, it's this clown. That clown, let's kick his ass. <laughs> That's a great laugh. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're forgiven. Oh, if I give the clown a rabbit, maybe he'll pull something useful out of his hat. I just hope it's not another knife. Why would you take that chance? <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> That's why you would take that yeah. chance. You'd do anything to keep hearing that. <laughs> this theory is so stupid. What he's trying to pull out of the hat usually is the rabbit. You give him the rabbit, then that's what he pulls out of the hat. Why do you think he'd pull anything else? Oh. Well, fuck your party. <laughs> I'm just gonna take this. Let's order something from the dying chicken. What? What? An omelette, please. What is going on here? Don't kink shame. <laughs> to open the lock, I need the key. Then I can release this uh, poor thing. You can ask it if it wants you to unlock it. The man inside this creepy outfit needs help. I'm there's going to try to set him free. I don't know where she's getting that idea. How does she know there's not a man? man inside this, and that was moving. I mean, we're hanging out with an animated doll in the lower corner that's scratching his head, and not helping. What's going right. on here? We gotta make one more cocktail, obviously. Because it's a cafe, so you should be making colorful <laughs> cocktails. The glass is missing. Okay. Hmm. Mm. It's nice that you didn't try to just replace it with the bucket we had. Oh, there's the mold. Oh, I could take a piece of this cake to the boy outside. I need to finish making it for. It's made! That's a cake! He is right there not is a cake! It's gonna be that picky. You're just gonna cut it up anyway. Drop the. And drop the bowl too on the lower right. Oh, I don't want to give up my stuff. And then what goes in? What lollipops? Because here's one. Oh, more lollipops. Yeah. Uh, feathers? Yeah, I'm going to put some feathers yeah. on this cake for this little. <laughs> uh, and we need a clown. Okay. Need a clown. Oh, I don't like it. The... 
Ah, kind name. Sure, let's go for that. The button is broken. I need to fix it. So you need an extra light bulb? <sighs> so many things. Look, I know we have a daughter who's missing, but there's a crane game. <laughs> I we could get a doll. I sympathize at this point, actually. I like crane games. <laughs> I solved this last one. What, uh, what's the code for making a s'more? Is that what this is? I guess, but it's not going to let me... Until we know the solution, Until we Until we already guess. know the solution, we oh, can't guess. Oh, and there's the lollipops we need and the cocktail glass. Yep. Or the martini glass, I guess. Oh. Uh, there, is there a bat on the ceiling that's been there this whole time? Maybe. Oh, there's the thing. Yeah, man, we know how to make a cake. The recipe book, the information could prove useful. Though. Hey, maybe this is the same recipe that's the lock. Oh, yeah, you're right. There is a bat. Bye, bat. Did you get the order that that book had the symbols in? That's not the symbols for the thing. Those were s'mores symbols. This is yeah, but they're gonna move. So knife. This is not knife. This. Do you see a knife? No, because you haven't moved any of them. Oh, I see what you mean. Oh, like a lock. I thought we bowl. were gonna reorder these, like you did no. on the you because you see. said you said what order we put these in to make s'mores. I thought that probably was gonna be that. Well, so, that yeah. was my guess before I read the recipe book, and now I'm enlightened. Well, now I forgot. Okay. Bucket. <laughs> so, bowl, lollipop. lollipops. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. I like these puzzles where the only test is will our short term memory hold on <laughs> for a whole 10 15 seconds? Not picking up an apple core. So, so tickled by the steadfast refusal to pick up an apple. <laughs> I will do so many ridiculous things. <laughs> but not that. Alright, I'll I would do anything for love, but I won't do that. Uh, Alright, so we still know we gotta go get that, that shape mold. from outside the school. Yeah. So what do I need I to do with this? Need all the cocktails. Pour each drink into the matching glass. Okay. So green goes into blank. And then blue can go into blue. Mm -hmm. And then... Yeah. And then red. This, this is really not much of a puzzle. This is not a puzzle. This is just... God damn clicking. it, King. We are the best in the world. And this is what you're putting us up against? <sighs> Color matching? <laughs> Our visual acuity is without peer. What do we have one of three of? Feathers. Even though it looks like we have a ton of feathers. It looks like a bunch of feathers. Yeah, but we, we only have, have one, one three. bunch of feathers. Yeah. Okay, so what's in the box? Some cufflinks. We're going to steal some jewelry. Jewel. Uh -huh. We're rich. We don't need a daughter anymore. What? What, uh. was, what was any of that for? The figures in the window look like hand shadows. Are yeah, there people know. inside the theater? Or no, are, are just there cut giant out hands. Silhouettes? Giant monster hands inside there. Those bricked walls are cracked as if the building survived an earthquake. I get well, that's the first supposition she's made that hasn't been a complete leap out of nowhere. Can we use a pipe as an ice pick and just I was bash just the ice out? I myself. Mm. But no. Alright. Okay. Well, I don't know what we needed metals or a gem S for. What was in the small box behind the bird? The bird wants a gem. Oh, the bird wants something shiny, you're right. Yeah, here, choke on that. <laughs> Goodbye. And now we can go finish the cake, and then we can talk to the kid, and we can get the key. I don't know at what point we free the monster chicken. <laughs> I found everything I need, now I can decorate the cake. Okay. Um, so you gotta put the chocolates inside the uh, cooking bowl there. Right. And then you gotta get the molds. <laughs> That's the sound that melted chocolate makes. Yep. All right, so representative of the kid and representative of the clown, which are the two halves of our missing husband, that was clown the last, and boy. That was the last game. We haven't seen it. It's this game, too. Oh, well, we'll see. Uh, so I put it on the cake? Yeah. Yeah. And then... If there's one truism about this game universe, it's that every husband <laughs> is secretly a little boy and a clown. Put together somehow. Glued together, unreliable. See? They just merged and then they exploded. Pretty much how the last game ended. 
Uh, one piece will be enough. Yeah, the knife. Can I take this knife, please? Why am I asking? She's not going to take the knife. Knife disappeared. You're never going to need a knife again. You're not even going to need a plate to put the cake on. You stick it in your pocket. <laughs> Let's go give this pocket cake to the kid. The cake is ready. Take it to the boy, and he'll give you the key to the gate outside the school. They really wow. do not trust you to remember Seriously, anything. Seriously, that's literally all we've been doing, guy. You're not helping. What a wonderful looking cake. You kept your promise, so I'll keep mine. Here's the key. Thanks, brat. Thanks, half my husband. <laughs> Spoiler. Excellent, Rose. You now have the key to the schoolyard gate. Remember that? From ten <laughs> seconds ago, I told you. That's what the key was for, and you traded it for a piece of cake. Hey, remember when you made that cake? You melted all the little chocolates into the mold, and then you, you saw the little clown and the little boy chocolates get together and explode? Yeah, that was for this key. Hurry! There's no time! Quit listening to me and get moving! I'm so beset by urgency, I'm just sitting here in the corner staring at you, telling you nothing useful. Oh, why couldn't I die in a fire? They tried to kill me, and I wanted to die. I wanted so bad. I just had a thought. Huh? Eh, uh, no. This is not a bad thought. Mm, you know. Oh, we were so close. They were just, just waiting for us to make a cake <laughs> and make their escape. Well, we definitely can't get in now because, because we're on the loading screen of the game. So maybe that's. <laughs> Now that we've put in about 40 plus minutes in this game just to get back to where we were on the title screen, maybe it's time to call it quits. Oh wait, Julie was here! You know how I know? Because I seen it with my button eyes! This, <laughs> they're probably about as good as your eyes, you just saw her go in there, but now we know she's in the school! <laughs> there ain't a mystery these button eyes can't solve at the same speed that your human eyes can also solve. You're witnessing everything that I'm witnessing! I literally have nothing to contribute that you cannot provide. Okay, but do you you do know the entire backstory, but you're just not going to tell me until I get the doll. Oh yeah, I could tell you all about your husband and, and what all the dolls and the rest of the dollhouse do, but uh, I'm busy. <laughs> busy sitting there. Yep, yep. <laughs> okay. See this little uh, book here, if I move would fall over and then... <laughs> And a motel key would come falling out and be the beginning of the end, so. <laughs> okay, well, thanks for nothing, little doll, and thank you for watching. Thanks, everybody. We'll be back soon to maybe move all of 30 steps to catch up with our <laughs> missing daughter. She's really not that far off, so this is probably almost done. <laughs> See you soon.